Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is, my friends. It is time for our weekly tarot slash astrology blog. And today's date, the 25th of March of 2018. Palm Sunday, hard to believe. It's almost Easter. We got Good Friday coming up Friday. Let's go ahead and look at some major arcana from the Tarot de Marseille. Then we'll look at some minor arcana and some astrology. How's that sound? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's look at these major arcana. Three of them are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. We have the Hermit, we have the Lovers, and we have the Tower. Now the Hermit is turning away from the Lovers. The Lovers card depicts a man being pulled at by a couple of people. He's being pulled in different directions. This is what happens to us when we listen to too much chatter. We get too much noise going on in the background, whether it's people or it's events. It can throw us off. It can take us off center and get us out of position of where we are supposed to be or divert us from our path. And that's what winds up happening with these people. They wind up falling out of the tower and the hermit, he doesn't care. He's just going ahead and following his truth, holding up his lamp and saying, I'm going to look to the past for my answers. I'm not going to worry about the future. Even the present, I can draw off a past experience and that's going to guide me right. And this is so fitting because we are in Mercury retrograde right now. Okay, and that goes on to the 15th of April. And during a retrograde, things from the past tend to come up. And it's good to deal with them. It's a good time for regression work. It's a good time for straightening up things from the past. Things that we did not clean up before, we can clean them up now. And that, as we'll see in our minor cards, can give us great power. That's right. The two minor cards for this week's reading are the Ace of Swords and the Six of Coins or Pentacles. Nothing could be clear. A declaration of independence with the Ace of Swords followed by a clear path for our ideas and our actions to flow. That's exactly what the Six of Coins is. So this is a very clear reading this week. I like this. I am definitely going to remember to apply this to myself because it is going to be most helpful. Okay, now as far as the astrology goes, I already spilled the beans a little bit. We talked about the Mercury retrograde going on to April 15th. Not a time to sign contracts. Not a time for big, huge commitments for long-term uh, projects or whatever, this is a time to really focus on the now and the past and to take care of things. Now tomorrow on Monday we are going to have the uh, moon doing a trine aspect to the sun. Now this is kind of nice. This is good for healing. This would be a good healing ritual or even for an abundance. Now if you want to work with lunar power, it's still waxing, getting more powerful. All right, we haven't got the full moon yet. That's coming up. We'll talk about that. But the moon is growing more powerful. It's going to be in that trine aspect to the sun at 6.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time tomorrow, the 26th. So this is a good time for a whole miscellany of different rituals about anything you want to do is going to be enhanced by this power. Now on... Saturday, I think it's Saturday, we're going to have Venus going into Taurus. This is nice. Venus will be strong. Venus will be in the sign that, it, one of the signs that it rules. And so this will be a great time after that point for making talismans for love or creativity. Other than that, and other than the full moon that's coming up on next Saturday, uh, you know, there's really not an awful lot more to talk about astrologically. I don't tend to use full moons. I work all the way up to that point, and then after that I take advantage of the waning energy. As things begin to wane, we banish. And we'll talk about that more next week. Well, there you go. You've had your weekly dose of astrology and tarot. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it uplifts you. I enjoy doing it. I thank you for your support. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.